Hey everybody, Crow back again with another Zacharia pinball video. Uh, this is not going to focus in on any table, but on September 18th, Magic Pixel did kind of a major UI update uh, to Zacharia pinball. As you can tell, the title screen here is a bit different. Oh, and by the way, I'm going to be filming this video in uh, 3440 by 1440p, so it's going to be an ultra wide screen. And that's just because that's the monitor I'm using. I was trying to cut it down to 16 by 9 uh, before, but it's it's just kind of making things harder for me. So I'm just, just going to leave it the way it is. And I can't really, um, the way Zachary a Pinball is set up, I can't really set it properly. So I'm just going to deal with it like this and um, just export the video that way. So yeah, there's a lot of major up, uh, updates that were made here. Uh, I actually tried to already make this video once, but, uh, well, for starters, I kind of captured things a little bit incorrectly, and I just went on forever and ever and ever about the changes. In fact, when I come into this, um, let's see here, can I click in here? There we go. There we go. Online mode, preparing your session. Now, I'm not going to probably cover everything. Okay, so, okay, I did do a tournament, so that's one of the things that's new. It kind of... Uh, attempted a tournament in here but uh yeah this i was reading this off and it just kept going on and on and on and on forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and um i'm just gonna kind of uh kind of try and simplify things and i may skip things over but um but as you can see like right at the beginning here we've got all brand new options the whole menu is different so the first tab is news uh here are our table options now so yeah, our um, going down the side here, we've got our selection of tables and then our tables listed out here. We can organize them by machine age, uh, current table, brand. we can just pick a random one, but we've got our uh, let's see, solid state, electromechanical, retro, remake, deluxe, and the artwork editor is a new one. This is actually a brand new table that they've added in here uh, for the artwork editor. They took out the old one and put in this one I will make a separate video on this one. In fact, I already tried to, which is why I've got a uh, <laughs> progress meter on here. And, uh, but I'll, I, I'm going to have to refilm it. But anyway, uh, so there's our editor postal uh, award, which is also labeled age of pinballs, which was indicating that all these tables originally came from that old iOS game, age of pinballs uh, specials. Now treasure used to be in the awards section. Now it's in, under special. Uh, which kind of makes sense because it was like the only table you couldn't buy. You had to unlock it. I can't remember if it was playing campaign or story mode, but you did have to unlock this one. Also, this is kind of an unusual table because it doesn't use flippers. Uh, also, you know, our campaign and story mode and zombie uh, invasion modes are here. And then we've got our video games. If you if you remember or don't remember, there are uh, just weird little games here that you can play that are included in Zacharia Pinball. They're just free. Yeah, I don't have to pay anything for them. I don't know why they exist or why they're here, but uh, they're here. <laughs> uh, favorites. Okay, so if you click on uh, in your tables as favorites, you could just have them listed here, for example. Uh, oh, and one thing I wanted to mention about like electric mechanical and uh, retro tables. One of the major updates they did had to do with the score reels. So as I'm talking about this, I'm kind of try and show some footage of it, but. Uh, They've updated the wheels so they would actually work the way they do in real life. So they actually roll. They look more like score reels than they did before. And I'm really glad they did make that update because they look they look kind of bad before. Uh, but and not only can you do you have the score reels, you could select how the reels operate. And I'll kind of get to that option menu here in a second. So multiplayer, we do have um, multi you could do multiplayer in the past, but I think they may have. I don't know if they've upgraded this at all or not, but this is our multiplayer menu. Tournaments, you can uh, set up tournaments and get into tournaments. And this is the way you would earn uh, magic market money. Uh, but it's not like a microtransactional thing. You can't actually buy this magic market, market money. You have to earn it by playing tournaments. And I'll kind of show what you could do with that, but you could create a tournament or join a tournament. I can see when they end. This is a lot like how it works in Zen uh, Pinball history. Oh, the really cool thing about this too is if we select one, let's see, I don't remember which one I played, but let's, I think it was Sinistar. Okay, so if I visit here, this is the one I played when I was trying to test it out. What's really cool, the top three scores here 
Well, I don't know why it's second, third, and fourth scores. I don't know why I can't do that here. But this will be cross-platform. I think this is only on uh, PC for right now, or at least Steam. But apparently they're planning on rolling this out on other platforms as well. I don't know when that's going to happen, but uh, this will be cross-platform. You can play tur tournaments uh, regardless of platform. But you can see we have the first three, uh, well, one, three players here. And if we select Mart, for example, uh, we're going to get to see their replay. We can see how they played this. So it's kind of cool if you wanted to, like, oh, how did they get this very high score? And you could actually see how they did it. Not only that, but you could speed it up uh, two times, four times even. Can't reverse, though. I don't know if you, well, I, I guess you can't. Uh, yeah, it doesn't seem like I can reverse. But it, yeah, it's kind of a cool feature. How, you can see how they played it here. All right, back. Uh, we got quests. You don't earn the magic market money, I guess, by playing these, which is what I thought you would do. You just earn extra experience points, I guess. And that's another thing is you earn levels. You could level up uh, now just like in Zen Pinball. Actually, it took a lot of ideas from Zen Pinball and threw it into uh, Zacharia Pinball, I think. They so got day three daily quests. It looks like you've got six weekly quests and a whole bunch of monthly quests. Now, what's interesting is that um, you don't have to specifically select these. If you just happen to select the table and the methods and with the, the criteria you need to do to play it, you just automatically gain these. In fact, if you were to click on one of these, like if I wanted, oh, I'm going to play um, Star God Retro, Three Balls Arcade, I click on it, it's just going to take me to the table menu and automatically set it up. Now, if I change these settings, it wouldn't count, but... Uh, but that's just an interesting way if you, you know it's just kind of adding you know things for you to do in the game if you don't know what to play you could look at the quests and be like oh i should try that i should attempt that again you got like general here complete classes complete 30 quests in total i guess uh, you have a month to do that i wonder what happens i can't really click on that one so uh, i guess that doesn't have a place to take me anyway magic market okay so this is what you could do with the money you could uh buy these certain things and I'll kind of, and basically these stickers, um, actually this is uh, figures. The figures are what you would add on the desk in the background. I'll kind of show that off in a little bit. Uh, the ball, you could get different skins for the balls. Pixel heart, these are stickers. You could stick stickers in certain places. Um, glass grid floor. So again, you could change the floor. Uh, this is a pattern for couches. This is a pattern for the wall in your room. And you could change the, the button skins for the pinball machines. So um, there's probably more things you can customize, which we'll get to a little bit later. Now, also store. This kind of just shows up uh, very concisely all the DLC that's available in which ones you own. And uh, and it's got the you can see the bundle packs here. And if you click on them, it's going to take you to the, you know, the, the Steam page where the you can get the bundle. Uh, customization with the arcade skins you can select here you know three different skins for that arcade machine right here and again if you want more that's things that you can unlock uh, figures again I don't have any to put on this table here big decorations you have a bunch to select from here and I guess you can um, earn points by playing in tournaments more uh, the floor uh, again if I were to purchase that floor I could change the floor uh, in the old version, there were like eight of them to choose from, but they kind of were like, okay, now you only have one default. And if you want more, you kind of have to purchase those with the money you earn by playing in the tournaments. Uh, the wall, yeah, only one selection. Uh, couch pattern, only one selection. They used to have a lot more to choose from best, but this is the way they're going forward with it. Uh, the more you play, the more you're going to be able to uh, make your broom look a little bit more different than than everybody else's i guess pictures there's two to choose from here floor you got one to start with mat uh dresser change the again and then the stickers again you can place the stickers actually what's funny is you can place the stickers on the table here i don't know if i really like that uh now what's interesting is you could select these options no actually maybe not default okay uh, I'm thinking of something else, but I guess I don't know if these stickers uh, carry over from table to table. They uh, they might. I'm not sure because everything else does. Oh, the one thing I don't like about the cup holders is that they to me, they put the cup holders in the wrong place. They should actually be way up here, kind of further down, uh, because that's where they would actually be if you were to put a cup holder on your pinball machine. 
I I'm guessing they only put the cup holder here so you can see it while you're playing. <laughs> oh, you could have a beer there? Okay, well, uh, I'm going to generally have that turned off, and you could have it on the other side if you want to. Atmosphere. As Zachary Pimba always had a uh, customization of the lighting in the room, the lighting on the table, uh, the weather, in fact, you could play in a thunderstorm <laughs> or at night and the day. I like you can't do this in Zen Pinball. Uh, you could kind of do it in Pinball Arcade, but you have a uh, far better control of it here. I'm going to select daytime uh, panorama. That would be your background image. Again, you had a lot to choose from in the past. Right now, there's only one default one. You have to earn the other ones. Air pollution, whether or not you want the dusty air on or off. I kind of like the dusty air for some reason. Uh, again, modifications for the ball and table. Again, you get right off the bat here, you get so many balls to choose from. And the way they're showcasing this now is a lot better than they, w they did previously. Um, it was, you know, the ball was kind of static before. You didn't get a good, really visual image of the way it would look rolling around that table and so they had the ball rotating here so you can kind of see exactly what you're seeing gonna see when you uh select the ball so i'm gonna select just um i think i selected skill look at you got even like so many different variations of a regular pinball it's, oh, it's kind of uh i think that's kind of interesting uh ball settings so again you know white reflecting off of the ball you can control uh, you can change the ball size. This used to be part of uh, uh, one of those options you could select right before you played. But what I find interesting here is that when you're selecting it here, it doesn't actually change here. Now, um, this is still an early access technically, but part of that preamble kind of mentioned how they're actually very close to getting out of early access. And it's been nine years. In fact, I didn't think they'd ever leave early access, to be honest. And But the... What's funny is like the whole early access or not early access thing, that kind of doesn't even matter anymore. Because even if a game's not in early access and it's officially released, they can still make updates to it. So it's, it doesn't really matter. Uh, changing the visuals on the side rails, lockdown bars, the legs. What's kind of cool about the legs is you have these <laughs> really cool patterns here. Uh, I'm just leaving everything by default here. You can change the rubber colors and the... Back, what what do you got on the back box here? Oh, the if you had a DMD, change the color of that LCD effect. Oh, and the reel types, the rec drive reels or carryover reels. This is the two. This is the new option. Oh wait, the real font. You could change the font. I didn't even know if I you know, wire forms vintage. Use for EM score reels. It's not changing as I select it, so it's just not showing it here. Um, so I, you could select this per table, or if you selected copy down here, it would copy it to all as a default for all the other tables. But uh, the direct drive reel, I like how it, it describes it down here. Direct drive. Each digit has its own step of coil. Faster and flexible, common from the mid-60s carryover. Only lowest digit steps rolls on to the next digit from 9 to 0. Common in tables from the 1950s to the 60s. So you could have it rolling faster or doing it the old way where it's got to go from the single digit on up uh button skin again that was something i you saw that i could have bought in the magic store a different color for the button uh glass again this was an option that was always there we got frost i like clean I wonder why I, I thought i selected oh you know what that's because i changed it on one table and this is per table unless you copy <laughs> yes uh, i kind of want to copy there okay uh so I can select the default, do physics, all the physics options, camera, changing all your cameras. This is all stuff you could do before it's just in a new menu. Profile. Anyway, oh, look at this. I actually earned a new one. I uh, didn't have that one before. So I guess as you earn EXP, you get uh, different avatars you can choose. I'll choose the, the smiley face, the dead smiley face, I guess. Um, and then avatar color. I only have blue to uh, choose from. Uh, leaderboard border. Leaderboard border. That's an interesting thing. I thought I had... Oh, you know, I did change it. I did change it to something else. But you do have a lot of borders to choose from right off the bat. And presumably you'll be able to unlock more. So I guess when your name shows up in the leaderboard, you get to choose the barrier. This is uh, pretty similar to what they had in Zen, uh, Zen Pinball. It's just a little bit different. It's just an avatar here. 
and then just the background. Uh, it's a little goes a little bit more in depth in Zen Pinball, but uh, I'm guessing it won't let you use the your regular avatar on Steam just because I, I don't know. Maybe it would look weird when if you combine it with the people that are playing on other platforms. I don't know. I probably did it like this so everybody kind of is on a level playing field when it comes to that kind of stuff. Anyway, options again. These are just the same old options we've seen before they're just in a more stream like uh streamlined uh, format uh you know screen options for you know monitors of your what you want to display it on what monitor graphics um what quality you want to see it at the sound like like uh, the, the digital sound effect position you have it come from the back box or the actual source that's kind of interesting headphone okay um, yeah, we'll just leave it as that. That was the default uh, keyboard. Okay, so we could change our keyboard settings. One new thing I don't remember seeing was time wrap action and reverse flow action. They can sign for activating reverse flow available only in time loop mode. So I think time loop is a new mode unless it was added previously and I just never noticed, <laughs> which is a possibility. Uh, controller options, uh, cabinet options, and VR options. All of this... Um, was there before uh info again this is just the, the long sprawl that they've um always had and photo mode is what used to be the flyover uh option so now it's called photo i don't know why i guess um also you could toggle the ui on or off in this uh slowed i don't know oh you know what if i hold control oh okay there i didn't know what that meant before now i knew Okay, so if I hold control and I move, it's actually moving slower. Okay. Like, okay, so faster. I don't think I'll be using that, but that's good to know. Anyway, that is pretty much it. Um, I'm trying to think. Let me think if I've missed anything. Again, this is the new option for seeing, um, you know, before you go into play a table. Uh, table tasks. I don't know if these open table tasks. Okay, so you can see all the table tasks you have yet to do here. Um, open leaderboard. So you can see all the leaderboards here. Uh, that's all I have for right now. I just kind of wanted to go through this new UI. Uh, it's not bad. Oh, another thing you could do is rotate the screen, but you could always do that as well. So, uh, next, I'll be doing... Let's see, if I go back to tables here, back... Uh, back, um, oh, I have to go to return to table selection. I will do be doing the artwork editor table Viking. So that'll be my next video. All right, see you then.